Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the Village's newcomers. We just had an incredible <laughs> adventure. Did you notice? <laughs> we're at the Chase Wildlife Sanctuary and we just made the rounds and uh, we're given a tour and had quite a time actually. We're going to show you our adventure and uh, we'll talk to you after it's over. This has been a great week for the newcomers. Today's no exception. We took a trip out to the Chase Animal Rescue and Sanctuary. It's in Webster, Florida, less than 50 miles from Orlando. It's about 28 miles from our home in the villages. GPS will bring you right in there. Didn't know what to expect, really. But let me tell you guys, this is a trip worth taking. They offer tours. You can check their website out. We'll put a link at the end of the video. A nonprofit organization, all the money they receive goes into helping these amazing animals, and they are amazing. The Chase Sanctuary is run by Donna and Nina. That's Donna in the orange shirt. This is an orientation room where they'll take you in and uh, play a video and you're right in the middle of the indoor lemur playground. Don't be fooled, this is not a roadside zoo. This is an animal sanctuary. The footage you're looking at here is part of a video presentation by Chase Wildlife Sanctuary. That's Donna. The lemurs are just amazing. They're friendlier than any cat I've ever seen. These folks are all coming in for a yoga session. Linda's gonna join in in just a few minutes. They are friendly and they're conditioned to come to the human beings because when you come into the Chase Sanctuary, you'll get a little bit of food to share with the lemurs and all their other animals too. They're kind of like me. You hand me a Big Mac, I'll be your friend. Yeah, she's the oldest known lemur, 30 years old. Bamboo. There's Linda, making friends wherever she goes. You can see they know where that food is. You've got bananas, watermelon, some grapes, avocado. During our visit, they were very, very gentle. That interaction with the animals is what separates this from just about any other experience you can have. That lemur is a Nikon guy. He didn't like my Canon lens all that much. Yeah, volunteering is a big part of what goes on here. Since it's a nonprofit, they rely on people to come and help them prepare the foods, to feed the animals, 
to keep the area clean. And it is clean. It's really a unique experience and the money that you would pay to go on a tour here would go to help these amazing animals. Lemurs are from Madagascar. There's several different varieties here. Lemurs have suffered in recent years because Believe it or not, they're hunted for food. Of course, not in America. We're just outside that indoor playground. They've got quite a room with swings and ropes. Lots of places to climb. The ringtails are much smaller than with us. Is that in your way? That's a good place to sit, huh? <laughs> Lemur back. Yes, he does like Notre Dame. <laughs> they're so gentle. It's a shame that they're critically endangered. In the Headed for extinction. Oh. <laughs> I must be sweeter than you. I can't stop. Once, once. Hey, we'll see you later. Their tails are for balance only. They're not prehensile. You won't find them hanging by their tails. That's a ball of lemurs. They congregate. Safety and warmth. This guy is awesome. And here's his buddy. He was very curious. Sully. Sully. <laughs> Sully. That's Sully. He had a cracked shell, so he was rescued and brought here. And he's getting along just fine. A tortoise like Sully can live 80 years or more. Yeah, these animals are in cages, but that's for their protection. I assure you, these are large cages and they're very well maintained, clean, well-kept. This is a species of monkey. 
Very cute. It's about the size of a squirrel. Now there's a baby lemur. Isn't that cute? It's being hand raised. Now it's time for the yoga with Linda. That's a cavi. It's a capybara type animal. It's a big guinea pig looking creature. Here we have the yoga leader. Gets everybody situated. Kind of preparing them because in just a moment, they're going to open a door and unleash a troop of lemurs on the yoga participants. The anticipation is high. See the white-tailed deer walking around? There's a few of those. These little guys were not afraid of us at all. They were a little bit afraid of that deer, though. Here they come. You can see on the right side of the screen, there's a little tunnel. They're going to come and pop right out there. Boom, boom. And they keep coming. Once they hit the ground, they're looking for the yoga participants because they all have a little carton of feed. No hesitation, no fear. That is so cool. And you could come here just for the yoga if you like. Check that website for times and, and prices. Look at Linda surrounded by lemurs. Now oh, here comes the deer. They get out of dodge when that deer appears. Look at that tail sticking straight up. One benefit to being a volunteer worker here is you get to participate in the yoga. And look at Linda, she knows what she's doing. Yoga is very peaceful anyway, but it's really special when you're surrounded by cool animals like these. Probably hard to maintain your concentration when you want to look at all these animals. I taught Linda some of these moves. <laughs> Besides deer and cavies and lemurs, you'll find cockatoos, macaws, awesome toucans. You've got the marmosets. There are pigs. And they even have kangaroos. These lemurs are the star of the show. It's taken a lot of hard work and dedication to get them to the point where they're so trusting, so friendly.
It's such a great place. Now we're going to head inside from the toucan pen here and we're going to talk to Donna and Nina and find out more about what it takes to run this place and how you can be a volunteer. Hi, my name is Nina. This is my partner, Donna. This is Chase Animal Rescue Sanctuary. Our mission here is to provide a wild-like home for primates who are in need of either rehabilitation or socialization. Um, the need arises from a robust pet trade um, where in certain states, Florida and Texas being some of the bigger ones, um, primates are bred to be sold. Pets. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Uh, so the need for rehabilitation and for these primates to come to a facility like this arises from the pet trade. Um, baby primates are worth many thousands of dollars, and so humans being humans see an opportunity to make money, breed them, and sell them as pets. Unfortunately, that usually ends up uh, being a very bad outcome. These animals get very aggressive when they grow up, um, and that's where we come in, providing a home for them. But also we actively uh, get animals from the breeder trade where for many, many years their babies were stolen and sold. We bring them here, allow them to raise a family. And when their troop is large enough and stable enough, we put the females on birth control or neuter the males. We also do uh, a lot of work with big birds and big tortoises, um, people who are elderly, who have animals that are gonna live another 70 years need a place for them to go. Usually the family doesn't want to inherit them. And so we have a number of animals here that, that came here for that reason. Okay, we have great opportunities for volunteers here. Uh, we're located in Webster, Florida. If you're interested, we would love to have you. Uh, the information, the link for volunteers will be in the information on the video. And also at our website, www.chasesanctuary.org. Special thanks to Linda and Jerry for coming out and visiting us today. We had a great time getting to know you guys, and I think you had a great time getting to know the primates. Maybe even us, too. <laughs> um, to, to, that's Toko. Uh, Why are you mad? He must be the most friendly. Oh, what do you think, Linda? Yeah. I, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. Oh, <laughs> my baby. Look at it. It's hungry. It's just, I've been playing and I need to eat. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> you might have backsplash. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm one of the Jedi grandmas. And I volunteer here. I have been volunteering here for about two years. And it has been the most wonderful experience. There is just nothing lovely other to have one of these guys come on by and sit on your shoulder. We have the friendliest tortoises in town. We take care of these animals. We feed them. We make sure they're happy and they're healthy. And they're clean. Their cages are clean. We get a lot of food that has to be prepared, and that's a huge part of our job, is chopping up vegetables and fruits and making sure everybody is happy. Uh, it's very rewarding. It's uh, comforting to come here. The people who are here are wonderful. We really love Nina and Donna and all the volunteers get along so well. We just had a wonderful time doing yoga today. Part of our job, of course. Well, what did you think? I had the best time and I've made a lot of new friends. <laughs> she did the yoga, did you see that? Yeah, it was a little tough for me, but uh, I, I, I gutted it out. <laughs> These lemurs, fantastic. I love those tortoises though. Yeah, oh, I like the, I like these guys. Their little hands are so soft and I thought they'd have long claws, but no, they're so soft and gentle. Oh, it's been amazing. an adventure doing this with them. They've, they've torn the uh, cable out of the camera <laughs> and uh, they've been all over the place. Here comes another they're one right active. now. They're active. They're having a fun day. <laughs> if you want to be a volunteer, check the description of the uh, video and you'll have a contact information there. And uh, we've had a really, really good time. Please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>